So we continue the action here. Next up, this junior flyweight men's contest, Nuruddin Davlatov from Tajikistan. Takes on Jesse Negron from Puerto Rico. Ooh, Puerto Rico in the red corner. Davlatov from Tajikistan in the blue. And Davlatov looking early for this takedown. You can see how hard Jesse Negron is working for this takedown. Puerto Rican doing well so far, but scrapping to stay on their feet. Still continuous attack up against the cage here from Davlatov. Now they separate the Puerto Rican, given some space. Can he connect? Oh, overhand right just misses. Oh, desperate little entry there from uh, Davlatov. He's got to be careful. He certainly set his stall out early. You can see what he wants to do. Oh, a nice spinning attack, though. Jesse Negron will now be very aware of what is coming. See. Davlatov now again connecting, pressuring Negron up against the cage. Negron with the underhook on that left hand side, trying to trap that wrist. Does well to do so. Oh, nice move here. Has that handcuff round the back, causing problems for the Tajeki fighter. Oh, nice little trip, but he's got to be careful. Negron, if he can free his head, he can take the back here. And he's trying to do so. He's got one hook in. Oh, but now he has to give up. Go to his back, but as he does so, he maintains full guard. Dalatov walks his man right into his own corner. Good head pressure from Davlatov. Stacking his man up right in front of me here in the commentary position. Final 10 seconds of this first round. Oh, Negron trying to work his way around. To set up the armbar. Fun the first round between these two. Certainly can see what the game plan is of Davlatov. Wants that takedown, wants to try and get his man to the map. Negron has done extremely well. Loved that position where he held the uh, the handcuff around the back, trapped the left hand arm of Negron. Caused him some problems. And in front of me, I can just see the Tajeki corner giving some instruction. Looking on, in particular, on the entries for takedowns. And Tajikistan competed for the first time in Kazan for the European, at the, at the European IMAF Championship. That was back in uh, August of 2021. And they were a standout team. First time they arrived, not the biggest team, but they claimed multiple medals, including two gold medals at that tournament. Set and ready for round number two. Let's get this underway. Off we go. Davlatov in the blue corner. Tajikistan. Negron from Puerto Rico in the red corner. And Negron will certainly know what's coming. He knows that Davlatov will be looking for the tent. Oh, that slip. That could be a big mistake. Good urgency to get back to his feet. Oh, he might do a takedown himself there. The drop and the roll. This is huge from Negron. Oh! Looking for the armbar, looking to get the armbar set up here in the scramble. Managed to keep hold of the arm through the leg over the top. Can he get the finish here? Oh, Davlatov manages to force his arm free. And now he ends up in top position. All this came from just a slip. Negron threw the kick, slipped, scrambled to get back to his feet. Looked like he got the better of the 50-50 position. 
Almost set up the arm bar, but now Davlatov has freed the arm and he's in the position that he wanted all along. Didn't come for free and didn't come without some danger, but here he is with time to work as well. Corner there of uh, Tajeki, the Tajeki fighter. Yeah, asking him to turn him away from the cage. They want him to stay working. Yeah, there's a real rapport between the fighter and the team over here. You can see he's responding to every word they say, even giving them a little look, a little nod, understanding. Nice shot, looking to trap that left arm, but Negron frees it. He has a closed guard here, though. Now it's open, maybe he can look for a sweep. And the thing with a closed guard is you're not really looking to attack, you're just looking to control the posture there of your uh, your opponent. Those long legs of Negron though from the bottom, almost got a body triangle on bottom, but to do anything to switch his hips, to try and build a base to get back to his feet, you need to open the guard. Final seconds of this round are coming in. Nice shots, some effective ground and pounds coming from Davlatov. Oy. Finally finishes the round with a nice right hand coming down. Oh, not the end of the round, just stopping in between. Referee brought him back to their feet. Oh, now you see Negron driving in. Can he get a takedown of his own? He's coming with a strong body lock clinch. He's got his head under the right armpit there. See if he can elevate. Final 10 seconds. A nice way to mark the end of the round. Catch the eyes of the judges. Drops down, looking for a single leg now. Oh, good tussle between these two. Fun, fun stuff. Good stuff. Tajeki Stan versus Puerto Rico. Here, day number two. This junior flyweight contest. We have another junior flyweight contest following this. Then we move into the seniors, the men's flyweights. And we go all the way up to light heavyweight here on cage number two. A total of 30 fights in this cage alone. And as you see the arena around, as they pan out and they look across this fantastic arena, the Jiu-Jitsu arena here in the UAE. You'll see four cages in total, all four alike, full of talent, brimming with action. And you can join us for the entire tournament. Follow us all the way through as we move through the week and into finals day. The junior finals will be on the Friday. The men's and women's finals, seniors will be on the Saturday. Off we go. We have Davlatov from Tajikistan in the blue corner. Puerto Rico's Jesse Negron in the red corner. And again, that last round. All that grappling came from a little slip. Slip from a kick, almost got reversed. Oof. Nice entry there, good hips though from Jesse Negre, Negron. Back to his feet, oh that's a low kick. Certainly not intentional. Not intentional whatsoever. I don't think it's gonna cause too much disruption to this bout, but certainly not a shot anybody would like to eat at this time of the morning. Or any time of the day, let's make that statement. Jesse Negron, though, showing some good adjustments in this round. The sprawl was good, avoided the takedown just as they got back to their feet. Got caught with that low kick, but off we go again. They touch gloves. Oh, straight shot, double jab, right hand, nice over the top connection from Jesse Negron. 
8-1 himself though on the way in. And look at that entry, look at the takedown attempt, but again, good hips, the mouthpiece comes out of the mouth of Davlatov. Again, Davlatov in on this good hips drive, so look at the commitment. Trying to lock his hands together. Can he lift the base of Negron up? He does. Oh, this is going to be a big takedown. Oh, Negron almost stays back on his feet. Still the mouthpiece to be replaced. Referee Derek Hickey trying to find a, a convenient time in the action. At the minute, Davlatov is the one with the advantage. Looking to re wrap up those legs of Jesse Negron. There we have the mouthpiece back in. Off we go again. But again, Negron, superb hips. Look to avoid that take. Then, oh, now showing stuff off his back as well. Maybe the armor plata needs to sit up, needs to flatten his legs out straight. Trying to make the adjustments. Oh, awkward position here. Oh, that arm still, that shoulder still wrapped up. Davlatov pulls it free though. Oof. <laughs> Look at this back and forth. And again, Negron trying to set that Omar Plata up. Davlatov now establishes that top position. Oh, brilliant stuff. And there we have it. Three rounds down and in the books. This one will go to the judges. Leave it to find out from Ricky Wright who took it. Decision in the blue corner representing Tajikistan. Nurudin 